Hello, before we start this episode, I just wanted to let you know that we're going to try something relatively new for, well, actually, yes, new, <laughs> for this episode of Growing. Every time you hear this sound, it means that there'll be an image that pops up on the screen related to what I'm talking about. Thanks, and let's get on with the show. Hello, person. You're listening to the first ever episode of Growing by Sprawly Media. Before we get started, I have a few, quote, public service announcements, and then we can get right to our first episode. The first announcement has to do with the schedule of this podcast, Growing. I know previously we've said, and this is mainly in our event on YouTube, go watch it if you haven't, but we said that Growing would come out at basically the end of every month. I'm pretty sure we said a specific day, but we clearly did not meet that deadline. So what we've decided is that since this is already pretty, um, well, it's a pretty unformal podcast, if that's even a word, we've decided that it's not really going to have that much of a schedule. Now, it still will be towards the end of most months, but it won't have a specific day, and there won't be, like most Proudly Media products, a specific time that it comes out. The other thing that I wanted to say real quick is that this is the only podcast that is still going to be going during Sprawly Media's summer break. Now, if you haven't listened to our other one, Sprawlycast, it's what we consider to be our flagship podcast, which didn't make much sense at first due to the fact that, well, it was our only podcast. But now that we have Growing and we're expanding into other things like true crime, sports, etc., etc., it's really our official, like, main podcast. And that comes out every two weeks on Wednesdays during a sort of normal time. Now on with the show. My name is Owen. For the past two years, my best friend and I have been building a media company. We make podcasts, videos, and magazines. Our main podcast, Sprawlycast, gets an astounding 30 downloads per episode. In this podcast, every month you'll get an inside look at how we run our company, grow, and get angry. Our goal? Become a relatively successful business we can brag to our friends about, while still having time for other things and having it still be fun. Because, well, we're in seventh grade, I forgot to mention that earlier. Today, our roots, and then we bring you to the present. First on the list today is, like I said, our roots. So, the story of, well, how we started Trilogy Media is... Uh, let's just say blurry for me. So let's say hi to Liam as he corrects my not correct facts. Okay, it's recording. Okay, Liam, I have gathered you here to essentially refresh my memory as <laughs> to how we started Sprout Media. So I think how we should, because I think how we should do it is probably. I'll tell you how I remember it, and then do you want to essentially tell okay, me how yeah. you remember it? Okay. Sure. So, and I don't know why it's, like, weirdly half-vivid, but, <laughs> kind of, but, uh, so I think, I think it was you and I, well, so I think it originally, originally started when, I think maybe Christmas of 17, I think, we, at least I did, maybe both of us got, like, maybe a car and driver issue for our, uh, for Christmas. And that, like, sort of started our love of car magazines. And then it's, like, the spring, maybe late spring, and, and, um, you and I are riding bikes. I think we're done, maybe we're done with school at this point, or maybe it's just a weekend. It might just be a weekend. Um, and you're, like, you know what? Or, I don't think you're, like, you're, like, I don't think you're like bah, 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 bah. I don't think I don't think you're like you know what but you're you're something like I think we should like what if we started our own car magazine um that's how I remember it I think and then 
from there, we slowly started doing one. And then once we started, so Spirally Drives originally started, we were doing like, I think it was bi-monthly issues. Like we did two a month. Um, We did do two a month for like, we didn't do it for a long. A couple months think. to start off. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I don't think we did. We long. may have done it for like two months. Two or three months. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then once we had done it for maybe it was like a year. I think it was like a year when we had the idea to do a tech magazine. Um, and that flopped. We didn't even get out our first issue. <laughs> um, but I think, and I think that was like a, that was like a while later, like maybe almost two years. We didn't do anything for a while. I think at one point we had an argument where you almost started your own magazine um, by yourself where it was just comparisons and it was done vertically instead of horizontally like Spirally Drives. I did that. I I think that that, was the, but I think that was the only thing we really did between the start of Spirally Drives and then Spirally Tech, Mm. I think we called it. And that completely flopped. Um, That was going to mainly be like app reviews for some reason. Um, yeah, that we was didn't a, even. We barely got through like the first couple of articles. <laughs> like, yeah, I think we only like I was like it. halfway through. I think we got most of the design done, but I was only like I was halfway through like my music streaming battle or something. Um, <laughs> and then after so after that flopped essentially. After that, we had our first like event thing, which was c- absolute crap. That was terrible. Um, like. <laughs> script oh, yeah, script on the computer like a mirror away from the camera so we were like looking this way while <laughs> the camera was here and it was it was awful um but in that we introduced the newsletter and the new format of spryly drive essentially because originally we had been doing spryly drives where we did on google slides we just shared that slide with everyone who was like on the list but then we started like emailing it as a pdf yeah but that's like that's mainly what I remember, and then from then on, you know, we had the event on YouTube and whatnot. Is that are is yours like is your vision similar? So yeah, mine is my idea of what happened is is relatively similar. Um, I so our first thing was our own car magazine, yeah. like you said. Um, and like our YouTube viewers don't know that because our car magazine is only for our family yeah. and friends like to see it's not like anything well yeah and we well and the main reason that we only sent it to a smaller group of people is because we use pictures from like the um we have like motor yeah so anyway go on yes um so i think how i remember it is we had just got it was like sometime in april um and april of 2018 or 19 i think and we had just finished eating dinner together and then i came over to your house and just to like hang out after yeah, dinner cuz i remember it being like dark out for really? some reason mm-hmm. yeah. and then that sounds right yeah and then i was like we were just like talking and looking at car and driver and motor trend magazines in our room in your room and then like you said i just remember saying what if we did our own car magazine and so we like we thought about it for a couple minutes and then we finally decided, yeah, that would be kind of a cool thing and fun thing to do. Which um, it was. <laughs> and then, right, yeah. And then we, so yeah, that's how I remember, like, how it officially started. And then we made our first couple of issues. And those first, like, one to five, six, seven issues, um, we basically, like, when we finished with them, which took ext- uh, extremely yeah for some time, reason we i mean two a month i mean maybe it was because the like it was not great like the articles are super short the text was huge yeah, super short in my original yeah. like my first article um, was a rolls royce versus another one i don't remember the models <laughs> oh, and yeah. this is this is beautiful and it's a, it was a rolls royce comparison between i think it may have been the rolls royces ghost ghost phantom, phantom yeah that sounds right sure. um yeah and I, jeez, I can't say this without laughing. I literally can't. Um, we, <laughs> I had this, well, I had this one picture, I think of the ghost. And I put the same one on for the mm-hmm. phantom, like without realizing it was the <laughs> same picture. So we had, so we, it's yeah, still there. so we, well, right. We never like change it or anything. We didn't like, 
I mean, we didn't yeah. look through it after we were we done. Really like a month later, I think. We were at your house in Cape Cod when we had the idea for the tech magazine. Is that right? I'm pretty okay. sure that was how it went. Yeah, but it was like a yeah. year later, like after that April. Um, but anyway, we so we basically so I remember those first like one to five, six, seven uh, car magazine issues that we made. We basically because they were so short, we printed them out. Oh, right, and but just for we us. we basically, right, just for me and you and then, like, our parents and, like, one other family member or something. So we only printed, like, six copies or something, maybe not even that many. Um, but anyway, that's how it started off for, like, the first couple of issues. And then we started to just decide it was, like, not worth it to, like, print them out because it was, like, wasting yeah. so much ink and whatever. So we just decided to, like, start emailing them to people. And the list of people that we send them to started out very small because, um, like we had just, right. And it was mainly our family at that point. There was even friends. Right. Exactly. Um, so yeah. And then we only, that's the only really thing we did for almost a year. So the following summer, um, we had the idea. Oh, and then I had the idea to do this tech magazine, like you said, and I think we, we included a comment in it and, or, like, we came up with the idea, and then we asked Colin, like, later on if he wanted to And do I have it a feeling, he, didn't and he that, say no to that one, but then we tried doing a tech magazine again, and he said yes to that one. I, th- I thought he said yes to both. I yeah, feel he, like he well, did. I mean, he probably Maybe did. He not, says though. yes to most things, <laughs> which is both yeah, good Yeah, I mean, but, like, but when, when, we, when we came up with that idea, or when we started doing it, I'm not even sure that thing lasted even a month. <laughs> Like, I think it probably lasted, like, I don't know, a month, a month and a half. And then we kind of just forgot about it and, like, decided to not do it. You mean the tech magazine? Yeah, the tech magazine. Yeah. So, um, actually, the, the car similar. magazine, yeah, the, it was our first project, like, two, almost over two years ago. And we're still doing it, um, yeah. which is not well, the case for any of our other projects, really. <laughs> yeah, we, we're kind of we're kind of like Google, where... Um, we, we have more killed products than we do, like, current ones. Like, <laughs> Google has killed so many. Like, they could have, you know, like, I don't know if you've been to, like, the Vermont, like, Ben and Jerry's factory or whatever, but they have, like, the ice cream flavor graveyard. Yeah. Oh, Amazing yeah. idea, actually. Um, it's so if good. Google had one, it would cover, like, the entire, like, how, however many, how, whatever the, like, land sizes of like i don't know let's just take lowell in massachusetts for an example it would it would it could cover that long it was like google plus it's like probably the main example but they have so many other like solar panel projects like i don't know this weird stuff but yeah. anyway i mean so leave it to me yeah, to bring so, tech into this but yeah i actually just opened the list we made of all the projects that started in which months just so we can kind of see um so yeah so spradley drives our our um personal private car magazine started in april 2019 then um oh i guess it was that same summer so we have summer 2019 like just a couple months later of spryland tech um that sounds kind of right i mean because it sounds like me to be because i know i'm pretty sure that i was the one who suggested um you were yeah yeah doing the tech tech magazine i'm sure Um, um and then the following june so just last june of 2020 um we started spryly cast and oh, we had right. come up with we had come up with the idea of Spryly Cast like a good amount of time before it actually started. I don't know, I think. really. I, I felt I feel not. like it was maybe know. just like I think maybe even on my birthday was the day that I had like I think you and I had been it riding been. bikes and I suggested the yeah. idea of it. And then we originally tried to start doing uh we tried hosting it with Anchor like hosting is like putting it on the different platforms Spotify Apple yeah. Podcast and. Then I watched a video that was like, don't use Anchor. And I was like, okay. <laughs> F- found Buzzsprout. And I fell in love immediately. <laughs> which is still what we use. Um, um, yeah, so that was June 2020. Was and then, yeah, that following October was when we decided to do the new newsletter. Which was right, that, yeah, and that's when we... 
and that's, that's when we did the be- horrible event. Right. Um, and we decided to stop the newsletter too. Like, and that was only a couple, like one or two months ago that we decided to stop that. But um, it was kind of yeah. basically what it was. Was again, it was only like our family and friends that we um, sent it to. I think and we sent it to the same people as Spirally Drives. I think we did. Yeah, maybe a couple added people, but um, it was basically mm. just like a newsletter that we send every it was every other sunday i'm pretty sure and we just did like small like tech columns car columns for the first like one or two i did a ski column um which ended up turning into the ski magazine which i'll talk about in a second um but yeah that was kind of all the newsletter was and after like starting sprally cast and these other projects that are more recent we just decided to stop doing the newsletter because it felt like too much work and wasn't really necessary to do that project. yeah so then we come to after that is the ski magazine right yeah so that so only a month later after the, um so in in november of 2020 right before the ski season started or yeah, right around that the ski season yeah. started um i so at this point similar to how owen and i were really interested in car magazines at that time when we started spirally drives i was kind of really interested and like I said, this is when my passion for skiing started to get really big. And um, even so though it I, kind of was before. Yeah. Um, but I start I got a subscription to Ski Mag um, called Ski Magazine. Um, and it's I just started really liking them. They're seasonal uh, or that magazine is seasonal. So which I makes sense. Why, yeah. So basically or how the Ski Magazine started was I started doing um, a column in the newsletter because that only started a month before I started doing a ski column in the newsletter. And then after like a couple weeks, I was like, why don't I just do a magazine? Cause I wanted to oh, right, more pictures right, right. and more I info. That. So I was like, I'm just going to do a magazine and stop doing the columns in the newsletter, which made a lot more sense. So that's kind of how that started. And once again, this was our third project that just, we only sent to families and friends. Um, and after, after that, we have a clue, uh, right? That was kind of, yeah, that was kind of it until April, this past April 2021, um, when Owen and I and our friend Turner decided to do a murder mystery podcast, which also didn't end well. <laughs> so the clue was under development for like two months. Um, it was a long time. And it, yeah, because it started with Turner uh, telling us that he was going to do a murder mystery podcast with his friend. So I was like, why don't we just collaborate on it because we already know how to do podcasts more or less because we have sprally cast um and and we're considering red or wanted to do others um so we did or so we after like very little time turn was like yeah sure because i don't understand this um <laughs> and so we did that quickly after his friend quit which i felt pretty bad about it because I figured his it was his friend probably quit because, um, like he didn't or he or she didn't know, like we we didn't know who it, like we don't even know the gender. It was Turner's <laughs> friend outside of school. Yeah. Basically. Um, and we felt bad because like we had done this with, and I had told Turner like tell with the person you're going to, like talk to the person you're going to do it with too. But either way, that was like that was what happened, I guess. And then we had the we put the trailer out. And that's when we kind of learned that Turner had said he got a microphone, but he actually hadn't. Is that right? And then that sparked. No, I think he did get a microphone, but it okay. was like, I don't, I don't remember how the argument started. I'm um, pretty sure it started with me saying something on like our group chat or whatever. And then yeah. he was like, you're always bossing me around or giving me advice, whatever I can, yeah, I know how to do it. And I mean, like that's fine like i was kind i was a little too like this is how you do it type thing yeah um but that was how the argument started and then we Um, just decided not to do it because owen and i then had the idea of like this whole youtube channel stuff well yeah i mean we had had the we had started planning for the idea august last year like we had started making lists of like the best gear and whatnot but liam or but we were finally able to make the um channel you know in i think that was april of this year right 
Uh, yeah, so the clue was kind of like March, April 2021. And then after, like, we decided not to do that, um, the whole, so then we come to May of 2021. And that's when we kind of really started um, the process of YouTube channel and growing. Oh, right. Because I had, had the idea f- uh, for growing for a little while. Yeah. I think right around when we were talking about the idea of the YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, I mean, because the idea of having something that was very similar to Gimlet's startup had been in the back of my mind forever. Because I, that right. pod, I mean, it's just such a good podcast. <laughs> Espe- um, especially the newer episodes about like them being acquired by Spotify. But anyway, that's sort of the timeline of products and how we started. Liam has to go soon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was slightly interesting. Certainly not as interesting as like, so I don't know, a Silicon Valley company or something starting up <laughs> in the garage and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so the startup story isn't as interesting. Probably the timeline is though. Um, and yeah. how we sort of went about can't like how we canceled things, how they sort of died down. Like the news, I'd say the newsletter more died down than we just went like cut, cut but the, like the cut but, it right off. <laughs> but like the clue was more like a the, we had an argument die a slow decline. <laughs> well, no, I think the newsletter was kind of a slow decline, and then the, yeah, sorry, the that's clue, what I meant. And yeah, the clue was, and then the clue yeah. was like a like Drastic. we were happy. Like I mean, we had had some smaller arguments, and then we like it kind of led up to this big one and then that's when we were like this isn't gonna work uh because we had also tried working with turner before but doing art for the newsletter and that hadn't really worked so at this point we're like we're friends in school but we're not gonna work together exactly but, yeah tech is confusing so on current state our new youtube series we investigate tech and how it affects us how we affect it and we make it simpler so that you can understand it without being completely overwhelmed by the 5,000 different models of tvs that are named poorly in best buy episode one do smartwatches really get us moving is out now hello it's my voice again now that we've covered our sort of roots or how we started which was a remarkably uninteresting story i know We should now probably cover what we're doing now. So you may have seen our YouTube banner um, or display or whatever you want to call it, where it says we're taking a break and we'll be back. I think it says late August. And we haven't done much else to tell people that we're taking a break. We've sort of, I don't want to say we've kept a secret, but we kind of have. So I want to talk about why we've kept it a secret, what we've been doing so far, and what we've already learned. Because... We've actually learned more so far than I think you might expect. Before we get to what we learned, though, let's talk about what we've actually been doing. Now, when we started talking about the break, it was for a number of reasons. Those reasons are that Liam usually goes to his vacation house on Cape Cod in the summer, so we wouldn't be together almost at all. Um, but And that's something he does every summer, but since this is the first year where we've been doing a lot of stuff other than the magazines, or the one magazine actually that we were doing last summer, that's gonna be kind of an issue. And then also, I have a sleepover camp halfway through July and halfway through August, so what that will end up meaning is that I have almost no, we'll have no, almost no communication for like a month during the summer. So that's going to make it really hard to do things. And so that's why before he just left for his house on Cape Cod uh, a little less than a week ago. And so we, before he left, we pre-recorded a bunch of shorts. We did a couple of other things so that we would, we could have content, at least a little bit of content that comes out while, I'm at camp or just generally doing other things and while he's on Cape Cod. Now there's that, but there's also the fact that like we've been doing a lot and there have been a number of times where we've been like, we need to stop something. And that was part of the reason why if we've seen our event, like I mentioned earlier in this episode, we said that we had canceled the clue, which was going to be a true crime podcast we were going to do. And obviously that was also because we said, and this is true, that we had had an argument with who the person who's going to be the host, but 
it was also going to be like a lot more on top of the stuff we're already doing. Like, and we already we're already doing two podcasts, two magazines. We used to do a newsletter, and then we had the two YouTube channels. That's like a lot <laughs> for a team of like five people, and that still have school and are going into seventh grade. So, it that those were the two main reasons. There's also the fact that our parents were clearly getting, um, I don't want to say stressed because they weren't, but like they were definitely noticing that we were doing too much. Um, it's like, my, and my mom has actually said that a bunch of times. I don't, I don't think Liam's parents has, but my mom has been very clear about that. So that was also part of the reason. And then it's also that we, we need to find a better way to do things, and specifically, I'm talking about workflows for a bunch of our projects. Now, that's going to be, now, that's going to be specifically the different series we do on our YouTube channel, but also, as we expand into podcasts, it would be great to just have, like, a default way that we do these podcasts, which is going to be hard to figure out, and it's going to take time to figure out, because as we expand into more and more podcasts, very slowly, though, the content is different. Some are scripted, some aren't. Spotcast isn't scripted, this isn't scripted. But we maybe we'll actually finally do a true crime podcast later in the year. We will see, but that'll be scripted. So it's just gonna be easier to just ev- so that everyone knows what they're doing, how they're gonna do it, and it doesn't matter what podcast or video or maybe magazine they're doing it for. It's also good so that when by the time we get back from the break. We, like, know the equipment we need, and we can have it, like, installed or whatever, in or on everyone's devices, whatever. Um, because, well, because we heavily rely on devices to create this content that is for devices. <laughs> so, those are really the main reasons we decided to do this. And we're about, I don't know, a month into it by by now-ish. Um, but especially by the, or by the time this episode comes out. And we've only done a couple of things that we were originally planning to do. Now, the things we were originally planning to do were obviously the workflow stuff, but we were also planning to, um, and this is pretty related, this is related to that, but we are also planning to, um, come up with, like, set schedules for the different things we need to do to create this content. For example, like, a cert- set two days for editing, snowed in or a set one day for the producer and the actors or whatever of a short to I don't know consult each other whatever those are things that are going that are in a business or specifically in a media business are more important than you would think because without schedules and this is like I said it's sort of the case for a lot of businesses or almost all businesses but without a schedule you're a mess And we haven't really had a schedule. Now, on Google Calendar, we've had, like, a Sprawly Media group calendar thing. But, like, like everyone except me's, me's, eyes, whatever, their Google accounts, like, have not been working with Google Calendar or something. And the dates are off by now. And so, it's just, we need to figure out a better way to do this. Whether it's an online calendar, whether it's something written down, whether it's on, like, a to-do list app, like, to-do list or Tic Tac. We need to find just some way so that everyone can see the deadlines and <laughs> not forget them. Now, that's the main thing that we've been doing so far. Liam and I have been working on the schedules for videos, but also the schedules for, like, regularly making content, kind of. And that, and like I said, that's the main thing we've been doing. We've also been doing a little bit of workflow work. We've been uh, focusing a lot on different shorts both ideas and also like I said workflows schedules whatever but a lot of the focus during this break has gone to shorts and just doing shorts and then also sort of going back to our roots which is I would well which is what I would consider our magazines um where it's like hands-on with the beta because we're not because we won't actually do we'll scrap the video we shot um like the first impressions of WWDC. Okay. Um, there's a chance I might have to film the Maverick video on my own because we have so much to do around the house in the next two days before I leave. 
Okay. And then I can just send it to you. Mm, yeah, if you do some sort of magic check on your phone to get drive to work. That's true. So. Although, how am I ever going to send you, like, how am I going to send you, like, Snowden videos and stuff, too? Well, there won't be too many of those. <laughs> Um, no. but good question, yes. I mean, I was looking at other options like Box and Dropbox, Box, 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 and <laughs> there aren't any free versions. As you can probably tell from that clip, uh, scheduling and making a calendar has taken a while. So that's been, I think I said this before, but that's been the main thing that we've been doing in this first month of the break. Now, I hope that before we get to like halfway through like July or whatever when I or when I get to go to camp, I hope that by then we'll be able to have had our workflows situated and maybe we'll have canceled the project and just somehow reduced the load that we'll have after the break because moving on to sort of the things that we've learned. I think the main thing that we've learned so far is that having time where you're not doing this is really nice and not being stressed. Now, I've found that I kind of like some, like, I like some stress. I, like, I've missed during this break the sort of rush around attitude that we've had, like, texting Liam at four in the afternoon, hey, we need to shoot a two-hour Spryleycast episode or whatever, or it'll take two hours to shoot the Spryleycast episode. I kind of miss that. Now, we still had that with the magazines, actually. Um, but I think, yeah, the main thing that we've learned is that you need to have other time. Now, this is what my mom, like I said before, has been telling me. And I was like, yeah, I, I see that. Like, I, I'm sure that's true. But I really like doing this. And now that I've had the time to do other things, it's been so nice. So I hope we can figure out how to reduce the load on us. Us being specifically me and Liam, because, you know, our other teammates or other team members, whatever, I guess you could call them colleagues, but that just sounds ridiculous because no one takes this any- seriously anyway, but that's the topic for another episode. It's a sadder topic, too. But it- <laughs> Liam and I do almost all the work. So there are two ways to prevent us from having all this stress, really, is, I guess. And those two ways are to cancel projects, which we could do, and I'm sure we'll do a little bit of that, but the two ways are canceling projects and hiring new people. Now, I don't think just doing one of those is going to be the way to do this. I think a combination of those will be nice. Now, we already have ideas for people that we would like to hire. Well, I mean, or hire in quotation marks, I guess. <sighs> but we've never... I mean, it's not like a real hiring thing, but still... They're, the two people that we have, or I'm thinking of at least, we don't know all that well. And again, they're boys from our school, since we go to an all-boys school. So, again, another topic for another day, hiring and diversity. But I think a combination of those two things will be the way to go here. And I'll give you a little bit, a little bit of an update with a growing episode, probably right before... I go to camp, so, I don't know, maybe July 20th, 19th, something like that, but those are really the main things that we've been doing and we've learned so far from this break. There aren't really any other things that we've, I guess you could say, learned, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because from the, looking at it from the good thing aspect, maybe it means that we've been doing a lot of stuff well and that from doing this break, we can't learn all that much because, you know, we been doing things well and from the bad aspect maybe it's because it's been it's still not enough of a break because we're still doing growing we're still doing actually one magazine we canceled the summer issues of our ski magazine and so I mean really we just have to see but I think something that you could actually take away from this episode I hope is that if you are an entrepreneur, which chances are you're not because there are so little people listening to this, at, at least at the moment, but it's important to have breaks. And maybe you have learned this without taking a break. And it's also, it's also important to reduce stress, kind of. 
um, and just not do too much and not like expand too much. And like we've seen these problems with companies. Like if you listen to the Guy Ross's podcast, How I Built This, um, it's an NPR podcast, really good by the way. It's like there are some examples of, and I mean there are other podcasts too, but like there are plenty of examples where there have been either people or businesses that have expanded too fast or done too many things. And I don't want to. I don't want to do that, but I think we've already done that at times. Now, at the moment, do I think that we've that we're currently doing too much? Like, like if you take away the break, kind of for the amount of people we have, yes. And I don't know, maybe it's a good thing that I can recognize that because I'm sure there are people who who can't and are like, no, growing fast is good. I'm like, yeah, and like, yeah, it is a fairly good thing because it probably means that you're. Either that you have time for it, maybe, <laughs> or that you're doing well. But in our case, it's really neither of those things. So just have to see. But hopefully you can take that, if you're an entrepreneur or really just a person, period, away from this episode. And you can look at my awfully explained experience and say, yeah, I should probably take a break, too. And really over the summer, too. Um, if, I mean, I know, like, if you're a teacher like my parents, then you have the break anyway, but, like, if you're, I don't know, it's, it's I don't know, never mind, it's stupid to take advice from a kid, I'm probably gonna get that a lot. The other thing I said I wanted to talk about this episode was why we've sort of kept the break that we've taken a secret. Now, I I guess I wouldn't say it's really a secret because obviously I'm mentioning it now. I have already this episode a little bit and we, the main, but the main people we let people, the main way we let people know was through our channel art on YouTube. We didn't send out an email. We didn't really, we, well, we didn't do anything else. So not very many people have sort of known about it. And there is a re well, there are really two reasons for that. One good reason and one that isn't so good that'll probably embarrass me, not make us look good, whatever. <laughs> um, and the first one, which I would consider to be the good reason, I guess, is I've sort of noticed that, and I'm going to assume this is why, but because we're kids, I mean, they're not really, they're not taking us all that seriously because they're kids now the second the second now the second part of that i sort of assumed like because we're kids but i couldn't give you any other reason that i could come up with for that so that's the one that would make the most sense but that's something i've noticed so i had thought for a little while well i kind of feel like we should do something about that and so when we decided we were doing the break, both intentionally and kind of unintentionally, I, well, more, I guess kind of we, but really more I, didn't do anything like we normally do where, I don't know, we send out an email to our old newsletter subscribers or our magazine subscribers or whatever. And that was for a reason. And the reason was... It, well, the intentional part of the reason, I guess, was that I wanted to see if people would really notice that we were gone. Because I knew that we weren't going to be, like, completely gone. Like, that that wasn't... We we knew we weren't really going to be able to do that, kind of. We, that's what we... I, I kind of feel like that's what we had... on Like, we had not said this to each other, but I feel like that was kind of what we had wanted this break to be. Like, a, a thing to where we did not do... We, where we literally did not do anything, but... I guess it's this is and this is a good thing. This has been really fun. Like doing this has been really fun. So we just scaled down the stuff that we've done, and then sort of there you go. Um, so I wanted to see if people would notice that we were more or less gone. So we pretty much just put up the banner, and I wanted to see if people would really like if people would end up reaching out or something. And I realized now that in hindsight, or kind of hindsight. That wasn't really, I'm not going to say it wasn't fair, but I don't think, like, even if 
we were a YouTube channel with 30 million devoted subscribers, which there is no, no such thing of. Um, I mean, I'm sure there are YouTube channels with 30 million subscribers, but none of them have all 30 million watching every video every day, whatever, <sighs> being really supportive, kind of. And so, in hindsight, again, that wasn't really all that fair to the people that, I don't know, watch us or whatever, or that have, like, not taken us seriously, but whatever. <laughs> But, like, no one reached out to us, whatever. And I can't say that's not what I was expecting, because it kind of was. But it was still, like, oh, I guess. I was, for a little while, that, like, the day I'd sort of realized that, I was like, people don't really care about us. And, like, that's not, that's not true. Now, is it kind of true? Yeah, maybe a little bit, because it's not even, like, for, for, like, a week, it's not even, like, my parents went up to me and was like, Hey, why haven't you uploaded in your to your YouTube channel in a while? And I can't say... I don't know. I can't say I didn't expect that again. And, again, it wasn't very fair. I, I don't... I, I don't know. It was a stupid thing to... Well, I wouldn't say it was a stupid thing to do, but it was kind of like a half-baked idea. <laughs> a very half-baked idea, which have been coming out of me a lot lately for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, maybe they always have, but I've just started re <laughs> realizing it. <laughs> But either way, that was like, that was an idea I had. And so when no one really reached out to us, my parents didn't say a whole lot. I was finally like, <sighs> I, I don't think I really realized that it was that, like, it was a bad idea. And so, you know, like, I, again, like I said before, I was just like, okay, no one cares about us, whatever. And then I just told my parents we had the break. And they're like, yeah, that made sense because you haven't uploaded. And I was like, Okay, then maybe not all ho not all hope is lost. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't know that I mean that was it kind of seemed like maybe or like looking back on it it kind of seemed like maybe that was just an excuse for like covering up the fact that I was so busy towards the end of the year because we started like at the end of the school year because I had started that that was around when we made a decision announced it made the heading whatever. So it's also possible that I was just lazy or whatever, and I didn't send out an email. And actually, that's not possible. That's sort of what happened. This is a, this like idea was, in a way, I don't think completely, but was in a way a cover up for that. But then I realized it was a good opportunity to do something like this. So I don't know. Do I still think that people don't care about us a whole lot because we're kids? Honestly, and this is kind of like a sad truth. <laughs> I don't know why I keep laughing, but yeah, yeah, I kind of do, and I don't think everyone is like that, just like, not everyone, I don't know, is racist or ageist or whatever, and so I, I still just can't shake away that feeling that because we're, like, if we were the same thing, only Liam and I were adults, so it was basically like a traditional blah media company, like a scaled down, worse version of BuzzFeed, essentially, would people have taken us more seriously? Would they have, I don't know, remembered that or realized that we hadn't uploaded in a while? Yeah, it's certainly possible. And I just don't know how we're going to, I'm not going to say fix it. I was going to say that, but I don't think we will ever fix it. And I don't think it really needs a fix. It just needs a solution, which I realize is a very, very similar word. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is something we need to think about. Maybe it's something that we should just ignore and, like, wait as we grow up, essentially. And then, finally, people will take us seriously. But that doesn't seem like... I don't know. That doesn't seem fair to us. Growing is produced by me, ONS. I'm the editor. Music today was by Common Kid, Bellow Drone, and Glasswing. Sprout Media is back late August. Our next Growing episode is July 19th.